Good afternoon on what is a cool, grey and overcast day. It is Saturday the 28th of January. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to unbox. So let's get this one open. And what I have got in here is that. Let me just shake this out here just a bit. Oh, oh, there we go. Look that. So, uh, this is the 30th anniversary um, edition of one of the seminal comic books of the 90s. It is um, Gather Superman uh, 30th anniversary deluxe edition. So, um, if you've been in comics for a while, you may remember that back um, in 1993, DC Comics killed Superman, which sounds um, kind of preposterous, and it sounded preposterous back then. The idea that, that, that Superman um, could die uh, because, you know, he is almost, he is virtually indestructible, apart from Kryptonite, and of course he is vulnerable to magic, but otherwise indestructible. Um, but uh, DC Comics did a, did a big, huge story running through its Superman titles all the way up to the point where uh, Superman was killed, and um, and then afterwards, you know, there were, you know, he was buried as um, an American hero, um, and then the question is, what arose? What was in the tomb? What happened to his body? And several different other iterations of Superman arose from that storyline and would carry on. Um, so, yeah. Um, this really had quite a cultural impact at the time because, A, nobody thought they would, you know, you could kill Superman. Um, and it was big enough that it actually was commented upon. It made the news outside of the comic world. Plus, um, you know, it was adapted. There's a really r good radio adaptation done by um, Dirk Maggs, one of the early ones that he did, because he did a whole cluster of comic book adaptations for audio. Um, so, you know, he did um, Batman Nightfall, um, did Spider Man, and Death of Superman as well. So, um, we have a scene, um, you know, that. Uh, there you can't really see because it basically it's all done in grey. Here we have the late Superman um, falling to you know um, being killed um, at, uh, and then we have uh, the introduction, which is actually quite lengthy. And this is going on for some for, for, for a few pages. Um, and this is written by da this is Dan Jurgens who, who wrote it. Um, and I mean, my um, I mean, I was fascinated by Superman reading comics at the time. I came into comics uh, really via two titles. One was Watchmen. The other was um, Nightfall. Again, two big seminal titles for, titles from the eighties. Um, and I would go around looking for other comics to read. And my really my, my favorite from the period of that time apart from those two titles would have been another dc dc comics titled the question uh, which i really liked and the other one was alpha flight from marvel comics and alpha flight in its very early um, issues was drawn by john byrne also created by john byrne so i was kind of following him sort of and i followed him into um his superman run in the 80s which has more recently been collected um, so I was following him as well, and that what got, that's what got me interested in Superman, because otherwise I really wasn't that interested in Superman. I'd seen the Christopher Reeve films and enjoyed them, but I wasn't reading the comics because I was more interested in Batman at the time. But that's what got me involved, because essentially the thing is, don't see Superman's invulnerability um, except to Kryptonite and also to um, magic as, a, you know... Um, as a weakness, it's a means. It's it's it, it's a storytelling element, um, and you know, um, you know, how can you write interesting stories around that? And this is perhaps the culmination of that, with him being killed in battle. 
Uh, and here we start off with the whole point, which is where Doomsday is coming, breaking at his um, his prison. Um, you know. And the thing is, it's sort of like this was coming out at a time where, you know, there were big events also with the X Men from Marvel Comics. Um, so there is, you know, the the issue in which uh, Superman died came in a big in a plastic wrapper with this symbol on the front. I still got it somewhere in a box. Um, and here we go. This is the beginning of the end. Doomsday. Um, but otherwise, you know, Doomsday is free, and you have Superman going about his daily business. Um, you know, and of course, with Clark Kent. But, uh, and um, so yeah, um, see the awful star on this to see. Um, I can't see who the artists are clearly, but you know, um, that way it's excellent. Um, you know, it's very classic early 90s artwork. But the artwork, you know, you can you generally spot the styles of artwork from over the course of the years. Um, but this is um, bold and vibrant. And we've got other characters in here as well. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, um, sort of classic characters from the um, from the period from the eighties and nineties. Um, And here we have him facing off against Doomsday. There's quite a lot of story be, be, leading up to that. Um, and it's an utterly titanic battle. Um, you know, playing across the, the various Superman titles, so Superman, Man of Steel. Um, and Superman actually doing his best to stop Doomsday. So really fantastic action here. We've got Supergirl in the mix as well. But, uh, and then we've got the DMCUs. It's interesting with the sort of like the Metro City, um, you know, um, squad designed. It's not called the MCU, but it's designed to, to deal with the, the superheroes and villains and so on. And here we come down to the issue, the death of Superman. And there's a notable change here where we have the, the, the black edging of the pages, the white to black. Um, not, uh, still white, but it's leading up to that point at the end. Um, and here, um, you know, with Lois Lane and that final, final sort of kind of... Uh, um, Kind of goodbye before he goes into battle. And then just how brutal it is for Superman. And too much for his parents and the Kents. And then we come down to just you have this fold out here, just that final scene, Lois Lane and Superman dead at her feet. And then you flip over the page and we have, here lies Earth's greatest hero. And this is the point where it turns black, you know, the pages are black. What happened? Here are the consequences of that great um, event, um, you know,
and even with things like here, um, you know, News Time, you know, feature saying life, life, and life without Superman. What happens next? But, uh, and so on. And that's almost done like a, you know, an issue and so on um, of, of, of a magazine. And we also have, um, you know, just just some of the memorabilia and the things of not the memorabilia, basically some of the merchandise that were put out at the time. You know, these fantastic, these fantastic book um, um, bookends. And then, um, and then just some of the pencils there at the end. So, if you have any interest in comic book history, uh, this is a land. This is a this is this collects a landmark moment. Sorry, a landmark moment in that certainly for for for, um, uh, for Superman and for uh, DC Comics. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, then please do click on the like button down below. Uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where well, you will see me out here with a parcel containing a book or game, in this case a collected graphic novel, um, or run a comics, um, which I will talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice cup of tea. then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook. Be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.